am Ananya and you're watching through my glasses. So a few days back I asked you on my Instagram about the annoying things people do on dating apps. So in this video I am going to talk about dating app etiquettes. Dating apps are the most misused things in India and people have no idea like they're doing bizarre things on dating apps that they really shouldn't. So let's talk about some of the basic dating app etiquettes. So first thing first, make up your mind before joining a dating app. Whether you want to seriously date someone, whether you want something casual, whether you just want people to hang out with, make up your mind and communicate the same thing to the other person. It just saves a lot of time, saves a lot of confusion and you know, it's really good to make up your mind before start doing something. Next thing is your profile. Well, uh, what kind of pictures you should put on your dating app to get more swipes? Well, let me tell you what kind of pictures you shouldn't put on your dating apps to get at least some swipes. So, uh, here are some pictures that you should never post on your dating app. First of all, group pictures pictures of your back, picture of your from a random wedding reception, picture of your side profile, picture of your hand on a steering wheel. So don't put these kind of pictures on dating apps. Next thing is bios. Um, bios can be confusing. Uh, confusing. Not a lot of people are great writers so they might uh, find it really difficult to write a nice bio. And that's okay. So if you don't know what to write, just start with uh, writing your three topmost interests and that's gonna give away something about you to the other person and uh, you never know, probably they will swipe right. And um, whatever you do, don't uh, copy paste the bios from like, you know, random pages that people copied from because like every third guy on dating apps is 27% rogue, 73% gentleman. I mean, that's hilarious. So don't do that. Um, let's talk about the conversations. So if you have a really great icebreaker, then good, go for it, use it. But if you're going to say something lame, just probably start with a hi instead because it's okay to start conversation with hi and women can also initiate the conversations there's nothing like men have to send the first message and I mean some of the apps have this system where women have to make the first move so yeah equality Next thing is uh, try to be interested in what other person is saying instead of making the conversation all about yourself. For example, if somebody is asking you um, what was the last time when you really enjoyed a movie, don't just answer it and stop there. Ask them the same question as well. That's a really basic etiquette and I would be really surprised if you didn't know this. Another thing is let the conversation grow. Don't just jump right in and ask for people's number or ask them to add you on Instagram or Snapchat. Let the conversation grow, let the trust grow, let the comfort grow and then ask for it. Like chill, keep it in your pants. Um, so another thing that a lot of people have told me that they find really annoying is when people don't reply on time. So um, since you are on a dating app and you have swiped on someone, you at least owe them a conversation. So just don't go all cold on them after swiping them. And if you don't like someone after the initial conversation, you can always unmatch them. But just don't keep people hanging. Let them move on as well. So these are the things that you should keep in mind while using dating apps. 
I am not guaranteeing anything that it's going to increase the chances of you being swiped because that solely depends on your own personality but this this is something I can do to help you and before ending this video here is something really important if you're going through something if you're going through some kind of pain if you're going through some kind of separation anxiety depression etc etc don't join dating app a lot of people join dating apps right after their breakup and that's not good because people on dating apps are not therapists they're normal people they're not going to help you to deal with your pain you have to do it on your own so once you're in a good space once you're at peace once you're happy then join uh, the dating apps rather than just you know making it a tool to deal with your pain because it's not and it's it can really make things worse for you so i hope uh, you like the things i've blabbered about and see you next time bye